so when we are talking about dr ziya shamsi sahab about the announcement of the us state departments uh, or us government sanctions this is the sixth round of these sanctions to be levied by the us uh, on chinese and the pakistani uh, entities since november 2021 this whole episode was started just before the announcement of indo pacific strategy in december 2021 is it a coincidence or it's by design bismillahir rahmanir rahim thank you very much uh, fasil very important subject it can't be a coincidence us does not do things uh, by chance they do it they always do it by design they always do it with at most preparation and sanctions on chinese companies and pakistani entities is not by any chance why because us has a history of sanctioning pakistan mm. whenever they need us we are major non nato allies yes whenever we are not required in their calculus we are sanctioned so i am not surprised on the sixth round of sanctions there will be many more this is not the last time they have sanctioned as announced by the state department as announced by the state department so we should be mentally prepared here the issue is not what us is saying or why is us sanctioning they will do it whatever is they deem in their interest hmm. we have to see what is in our interest yes definitely what is in our national interest okay so since these sanctions are not new number 1 number 2 pakistan no, is not the only country that has been sanctioned by the us hmm okay Obviously. and there are so many other countries who are living with these sanctions for more than four decades iran is sanctioned venezuela is sanctioned afghanistan is sanctioned China is sanctioned. Russia is Russia sanctioned. is sanctioned. Yes. So I'm, I was good. So there is nothing to worry about. Mm. We will continue our programs if they suit us. They if they suit our national interest. Obviously, and we have okay. to. Okay, and we have been doing it. Yes. Throughout the 80s, we were under sanctions, mm. but we continued our program, and Alhamdulillah, when the time came, we responded to India's test, isn't it? likewise no likewise likewise the missile technology also mm. or any other technology whatever is there in our national interest that program will continue whether it is the modernization of arm forces whether it is the development of new missile systems whether it is the development of nuclear weapons whether it is development of sub critical or sub kiloton or tactical nuclear whatever it is mm. if it is needed for our security and if it is needed for our uh, national interests we will guard it jealously no matter who sanctions us definitely you are you are absolutely okay. right about that why pakistan national security is not important for the us yeah because pakistan does not fall uh, into their calculus as far as their strategic interests are concerned for tactical or operational interest yes pakistan becomes an ally whenever they need need us in afghanistan but for the limited Russia, period for limited time. period yeah. so that's why i said the strategic interest okay. um you you rightly pointed out a number of things but most importantly perhaps in my opinion french reprocessing plant which we were supposed to get and americans stopped french from supplying it to us after india carried out 1974 uh, smiling buddha tests and then also they stopped the swedish company to give us the wigan aircraft yes and they also stopped a seven aircraft that was supposed to be supplied to so it's a it's a long history but what i am coming at <coughs> is that whenever a superpower makes a move or makes an announcement it is not without a purpose hmm so look deep into the 
US purpose of these sanctions since 19 to, uh, since 2021. What are they achieving? Number one, they are pleasing India that we are countering Pakistan. Number one, we are weakening Pakistan relative to you. So, they are appeasing India, number one. They are preparing India for a it is a kind of a teasing and teasing policy. Indo Pacific against China. Hmm. Okay. Then they are forbidding Chinese companies to get business elsewhere hmm. through sanctions. All right. So, there are these three purposes straight away in one move they are achieving. Is not it? Definitely. So, that the issue is not that what US is doing. Hmm. The issue is what we are doing. Hmm. Isn't that, is, it? that is paramount. Like brigades have also pointed out, it is we who has to decide what is in our interest hmm. and how would you handle. Especially, especially this administration, as I keep saying, Biden administration will go down in the history as the weakest administration, US administration, in the last 40 years. Hmm. Why? they were unable to stop China's rise. China has already risen now. Hmm. It is an old dicta that China is rising. Yes, of course, no doubt. Okay, number one. Number two, they were unable to persuade uh, Russia from not attacking Ukraine. Hmm. Number three, they are unable to convince Netanyahu to stop genocide in Gaza. And they are openly exposed as well across the world when it comes to Ukraine or to the Gaza crisis. So, now it is trying to salvage the situation because this is an election year and elections are only two months away. So, to show it to the American people, they will try to impose more sanctions on Chinese, more sanctions on Russians, more sanctions on Pakistan and the countries like that and Afghanistan. So, this is by design and this is not by any chance because they have to salvage the situation. Donald Trump, a former president and the candidate has very rightly pointed out to vice president's claims that when she comes into power, she will do A, B, C, D hmm. and Trump responded spontaneously and rightly so that why do not you do it now? Mm. You are the vice president mm. and president at this time is nearly incapacitated. Obviously, obviously. Is not it? Definitely. So, why, why does not she do it now? Why is she waiting to be elected? So, what I am trying to say is that like you raised the point in the beginning that is it by design or coincidence? No, sir there is no coincidence in political affairs. It is by design. It it's, is it's by, by design. design. No doubt. And you're, you're they are achieving multiple purposes out of this. Mm, you are quite well taken. Sir, but how do you see as Washington's move, its uh, timing looks so suspicious um, as it specifically target two of the strategically important Pakistan missile systems. One is Shaheen 3 and other is Ababil. As a State Department official Matthew Miller named these missile systems, uh, to which Pakistan's adversaries, especially India, has lots of issues. Because both, both of the missiles are beyond 2000 uh, kilometers of the range. Actually, we do not um, really need uh, this kind of distance to target India, we are neighbors. But this is one way of uh, targeting Pakistan and putting sanctions on it. But I will, can I just go back to Mr. Tamur's argument. Why not? Why not? Please. You know, if we are at World War 2.5 at this time, where 40 percent of the world is facing conflicts and wars mm. is because of realism. Mm. Mm. It is because of realism. This is this bogey of self-interest and anarchic world and all that is is causing mm. the world to this because most of the governments 
especially the hegemons mm. because realism creates the obviously hegemons. yes there are contours right. of uh, there are different okay. contours of the realism so, no so, doubt about that so if if you are following machiavellian approach mm. of realism where prince needs to do whatever is in his best interest and forget about the people mm. then obviously we will have this kind of world in which we are sitting obviously obviously i am not that realist mm. i have coined my own theory of realism with z not with s mm. i do not support realists i support realizers mm. with z realism with z i am an a supporter of sunzu who says that you should win your battle without fighting and it can be done hybrid war fair is one way of winning your argument but if you follow the classical realists mm. machiavelli then yes you will have bloodshed and you will have wars in the europe also in the middle east also and in africa also and in south asia also mm. i would urge on all practitioners and academics to please stop pursuing or stop supporting this age old argument of national interest and self interest and archaic word and all that you want to pursue your interest yes you pursue it but not at the cost of my interest mm. can't you pursue your own interest without hurting my interest that's what the beauty of diplomacy is definitely you are absolutely right absolutely so right so please Shantika. do mm. not tell me that realism is the only way of managing this world no doubt there uh, there are because realists have Definite. failed mm. to ensure global security regional security and domestic security mm. we need realizers we need game changers mm. mr trump was in power for 4 years no new war was started was he not pursuing the national interest of us was he not no doubt he was he was might be so mm. what i am suggesting is humbly request who still profess classical realism that yes states pursue their national interest mm. but can't they realize that they must achieve their interest not at the cost of the other obviously obviously you are absolutely right sir find absolutely other right. means hmm. absolutely right your point well taken shamsi sir uh, shamsi sir if you want to add or uh, to say something on that no it is true as far as the americans are concerned you could be darling at one time and you could be enemy on the other time hmm. so pakistan at this time is not the darling because they don't need us india is because they need to prepare india to face off uh, china mm -hmm. in indo pacific mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. definitely so definitely. this is this is very clear there, there is uh, i mean there is no uh, rocket science involved in uh, mm -hmm. american policies at this time obviously True. obviously you are absolutely right uh, thank you very much uh, dr zia shamsi sir for your presence here in the studio